networks my name is Edgar Francis in this video we will see the configuration of the VLAN access list so VLAN access list or we can say the VSCL is a very useful when we want to filter the traffic within the VLAN when we configure the VSCL on the switch all the packets entering the VLAN are checked against the VLAN access list in a VSCL you cannot define the direction like router ACL okay so VSCL can either drop a matching packets or forwarded it or redirect it to the another interface. So you can see the topology over here. We have one switch, four PCs and two VLANs. So how to proceed? First configure the ACL, standard or extended and then configure the VS, VLAN access map uh, for matching the IP host and conf configure the action forward or drop and apply the VSCL map to the VLAN and verify the VLAN access map information. Our okay. task is to configure the VSCL and make sure that the PC1 cannot communicate with any VLAN 20 PCs. For, for example, the PC1 cannot communicate the PC4 and PC3, but PC1 can communicate PC2 and PC2 can communicate any PC. So this is our task. So first we have to configure the VLAN, VLAN 10 and 20 and we we'll see okay so this is our switch let me put in the middle and uh, maximize the okay first let's change the host name so host name is uh, switch one let's configure the vlan so vlan 10 name we are using the VLAN 10 okay exit another VLAN is VLAN 20 name is uh, VLAN 20 exit now we assign these posts to their respective VLANs so interface uh, range uh, Ethernet 0 slash 0 to 1 switch port and the switch port mode access and switch port access uh, VLAN 10 the same way for these two interfaces so interface uh, range Ethernet 0 slash uh, 2 to 3 switch port and the switch port switch port mode access and switch port access uh, VLAN 20 exit let's verify show vlan you see over here we have vlan 10 and 20 in vlan 10 we have ethernet 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 in vlan 20 we have ethernet 0 slash 2 and the uh, ethernet 0 slash 3 okay now we have to configure some inter vlan routing to okay now let's configure first we have to configure the IP address on VLAN 10 and 20 okay so first interface uh, VLAN 10 the IP address we are using is 10.1.1.1 10.1.1.1 255.0.0 and no shutdown exit same way for the VLAN 20 20 the IP address for this VLAN is 20.1.1.1 No shutdown Exit IP routing For inter-VLAN routing Let's verify the interface Okay, we have VLAN 10 and 20 The IP address Okay Now let's go to this uh, PCs And verify the IP address Show IP we have the IP address okay PC2 show IP okay PC2 okay no IP 10.1.1.3255.0.0.0 okay show IP okay now PC4 show IP Okay, 10.20.1.1.2 and PC3. 
show IP. Okay. Now let's try to ping from PC one. Okay. Ping ten dot one dot one dot one. This is the gateway or the. Okay. You can see the PC one is getting reply from his gateway. Now try to ping um, PC two, which is in the same VLAN. So PC two. Okay. We are checking the connectivity. Now, in a different VLAN, ping 20.1.1.2 means PC4. Okay, it's getting reply. Now let's try to PC, ping PC3. Okay, so we have the connectivity bet between the VLAN 10 and 20. So, okay. Now we have to configure the access list. According, according to this, uh, we have to configure the ACL. So, PC uh, switch uh, switch one. Okay. So, access list. Um, okay, access list ten, and we have to permit host ten dot one dot one dot two. Which is the PC one? Okay. Now we have to configure the VLAN access map. So VLAN access map and the name VACL and uh, ten. Okay. Now we are in the access map. So match the IP address, which is uh, ten. Here you can see. Now we have to give the action. So action forward or drop. We are using the drop. Drop the packet. Okay. Exit. Now VLAN access um, map VACL twenty. Okay. Action forward exit now we have to now we have to apply the VACL map to the VLAN okay so we are applying on the VLAN 10 so VLAN filter the name is VACL VLAN list the 10 okay exit now let's verify again we are using the PC one and let's try to ping PC 3 so it should be drop okay now our access list is working fine Okay, now let's try to ping PC4. Okay. As you can see, our access list uh, VSCL or can we can see the VLAN access list is dropping the packet. Task. So <coughs> let's uh, go to first PC2 and try to ping the the default gateway for the VLAN 20. So 20.1.1. .1 .1 one you can see pc2 is uh, getting the reply now let's try to ping from pc2 to pc3 so pc2 to pc3 you can see pc2 can communicate but uh, pc1 cannot communicate with these pcs for example ping uh, uh, 20.1.1.3 PC1 cannot communicate but uh, PC3 uh, PC2 can communicate so so this is how you can configure the VSCL so this is how you can configure the VLAN access list okay show access list 10 you can see we have matches 10 matches 
so i hope you like this video if you want to know more in detail so there's a link in the description box you can visit it out i have wrote everything about this topic you can see over here so you can visit over here the link is in the description box and thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much